five Nigerian soldiers and three U.S. Army Special Forces troops have been killed in an ambush in southwest Niger. Two U.S. soldiers were also wounded. These soldiers were on a joint patrol in an area known to have a presence of insurgents. It's unclear who fired on them as the patrol was not part of an active high-risk operation like pursuing a high-value target or rescuing a hostage. The U.S. troops have maintained a presence in Niger, advising and assisting local forces as they battle the ISIL-affiliated Boko Haram and Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb. Well, for some context now and a better understanding of that security situation in the region, we're joined here in our Nairobi studio by CGTN reporter Jane Keogh. Jane, of course, you've traveled to both Mali and Niger. Just give us an idea of how vast this area is and the difficulties that militants face in operating uh, in this area. Well, Lindy, for starters, Niger is the largest country in West Africa. Much of it, of course, is desert. About 80% is covered uh, by the Sahara Desert. Now, this particular area where this attack took place is known as Tilaberi. It's in the southwest, north of the capital, Niamey. Now, it's an area that also borders Benin and Burkina Faso. What we, are, what, what we are told and what we hear from, even what you've read, is that it's still unclear who carried out this attack. No one has claimed responsibility yet. But Tilaberi has, in recent times, seen increased attacks by suspected jihadists. Uh, in May, we had um, jihadist attack a police post, killing two policemen. And most of these attacks are targeting mili the military, the police, and even refugee camps. Now, even in June, as a result of these attacks, the government um, launched a new operation, a military operation, um, to drive out the armed groups, uh, the criminal gangs that operate in this uh, near this border with Mali. And we also know that this is an area where we've got militants that are operating here, given the conflict in Mali that has spilled over um, to Niger. And we are talking about militants, Al-Qaeda-linked milita militants. That's the Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Mag Maghreb. These ones are from Mali. We've also got the ISIL-linked Boko Haram from Nigeria. Uh, but while we do not know who exactly carried mm. out this attack, it could be either of these groups. It could be criminal gangs. But Lindy, it certainly goes to show that the volatility in this area is still, is still pretty much high, even as authorities and the leaders of the Lake Chad Basin uh, try to put together these special forces uh, that will um, try to bring down this insurgency. And as you describe, it, it certainly seems like a very serious challenge that uh, military groups are facing in the area and what is obviously a very challenging terrain. Just what kind of assistance are U.S. troops providing to Niger? Well, like you mentioned, mentioned that the U.S. for years has maintained a presence in Niger on what it calls a supporting role. Basically, what this means is that they train, they advise, they provide intelligence. They also provide surveillance for French forces that are operating in Mali and Niger. Recently, they've also increased their operations um, to include surveillance drones from the capital, Niamey. We also understand that they are um, putting up an installation um, at the center of the Sahara that will move or more flights uh, closer to Libya in Mali to help in this um, war against the jihadists and the insurgency. Uh, but again, all this, given that the role the U.S. is playing in Niger, Lindy, it definitely raises a lot of questions in regards to this attack. Mm -hmm. We still do not know what kind of uh, mission uh, that these troops were involved, uh, involved in. We do not know the nature of the patrol. And given that the troops are only there to advise and possibly um, train um, forces in Niger um, raises questions as to what they were doing in the enemy's line. Mm, indeed, at the point. Yeah. At this point, it seems we certainly have uh, more questions than answers. But thanks very much to Jane Kyo, giving us some context there into what we understand has been an attack on Nigerian and U.S. security forces in the southwest of Niger.